Trump and Hillary Clinton are tied in these national polls. Uh, now, that was kind of the case going into the final few days before the general election in 1980. And wouldn't my next guest know it, a former Carter pollster, Pat Cadell, one of the great political geniuses of the last century. That's what he told me to say. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Good I'm work. kidding. Good I'm work. kidding. Good Patrick, work. good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you, pal. What do you make of this? I mean, I, I, I was uh, bothering you the other day that I feel, when, especially when I get a chance to look at the press at the time from then, the same sort of thing. It's a tight race, anyone's guess. What were you feeling underneath at the time and seeing in your own data? I saw exactly what was happening. We went, we had a debate, which was a big event, the, la the week before the election, on Tuesday before the Tuesday, which was not what we wanted. Or we I didn't wanted. want the president, oh, that is Carter, to debate. Well, I begged, you know, to get out, to close that down, because I was afraid. We had based the whole campaign on making Ronald Reagan risky. Now, the overall factors, the economy was not good, people were upset at uh, Carter's compass. We had the problem with Iran, all of those things working against the president. But we were getting voters were coming home. We were succeeding. That debate froze it, then moved it. Reagan went ahead, and then I can tell you day by day what happened. Like on the Friday after the Tuesday, that would be this right, Friday. Right. Um, the uh, he was ahead a point or two. By Who was ahead? Uh, Reagan. Okay. By Saturday, it was even again, and then the dam burst on Sunday. We went down five points Sunday night in our, poll, in our national poll. What happened? And ten points on Monday. What happened was once people started focusing on what they didn't like, and once Reagan wasn't the issue alone, it just broke. And blue collar Democrats and others said, or uh, one of my advisors said, one of the people working on the poll, Sam Popkin, said, well, you know what it is? It's the host we have the hostage rescue, right? The anniversary of the hostage, excuse me, the hostage takeover. And um, the, uh, he said, but you know what it is? They're reminding people what else they don't like. What they really don't like is the economy. And they started focusing on how they felt. Now, look at this year. We have, I've been arguing, there are similarities and differences majorly. But I'm seeing a pattern here. And in, if you go in the internals of data, which are the attitudes, there's some similarities. Both candidates are unpopular more today than they were in 1980. Uh, Trump has got real problems of temperament and whatever, but Clinton has now got a, you know, already had a huge honesty problem. She has been hit on this thing.